So the last time Adam Driver and Noah Baumbach teamed up in 2019's Marriage Story, they delivered an absolute emotional roller coaster ride. I mean, God, I needed a pack of tissues by my side the entire time. So I thought it was safe to assume things would kind of be similar in their new movie, White Noise. Uh, yeah, this is something completely different. What's up guys, I'm Sully Streams. I post videos every week about which movies are actually worth your time and which ones are just hot garbage. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you keep on adding to that never ending watch list. And today I'm excited because we're talking about the brand new Noah Baumbach Netflix movie, White Noise. All you need to know about this one is that it follows college professor Jack Gladney and his family in the 80s when their comfortable suburban life is thrown into mayhem after a nearby chemical explosion creates something described as an airborne toxic event. When that happens, a black noxious cloud appears over the region, forcing the Gladneys to evacuate. And honestly, a whole bunch more happens in this movie, but that's all I'm gonna say about it. So look, I had absolutely no choice but to be excited for this movie. I mean, it's the first time Adam Driver and Noah Baumbach are teaming up again since 2019's Marriage Story. I absolutely loved Marriage Story. It was far and away one of my favorite movies of that year. The dialogue, the performances, the direction. It's also personal and vulnerable. It honestly left me pretty emotionally exhausted, I'm not gonna lie, but it was so, so good. So I told myself if these guys ever made another movie together, I'd be there. But it only takes about five minutes of watching White Noise to realize this is something on the completely opposite side of the coin. Like, this is not your typical Noah Baumbach movie. We've got CGI explosions, horror dream sequences, even a dance number is in this one. I don't know if he was going through like a midlife crisis when he was filming this movie, but I'm not even mad about it. And this time around, we throw Greta Gerwig and Don Cheadle into the mix, who are always very solid and have seasoned comedic chops. But I seriously think Adam Driver has transformed himself into a fantastic comedic actor. He just proves time and time again that he can handle every single genre that's thrown at him and we've known he's funny and can do comedy for a while we've seen him in movies like logan lucky and the dead don't die but this one's probably the most front and center in your face comedic role that i've seen from him i mean he's got the receding hairline the big belly the bono sunglasses i mean he just really looks the part now i haven't read it but this movie's based off of a novel of the same name and i've heard people talking all over on the internet about how it's basically unadaptable because it's just so complicated and that had me thinking like, well, Denis Villeneuve was able to adapt Dune. People thought that couldn't be done. And then I saw this movie. When it's all said and done, white noise might go down as being harder to adapt to the big screen than Dune. Buckle up for that because I'm not kidding. It starts out as a comedy, then it transitions into being a disaster flick, and then it ends up being a thriller by the time the credits roll. It dances around so many different genres, you're really not gonna know what to make of it once it gets up and running. It's one of those movies where you're gonna be asking yourself like, okay, did that say too much or actually nothing at all? And I've seen some people talking about how this is Noah Baumbach's inherent vice, and I think that comparison is extremely spot on. It's a weird experience when you're watching a movie and you don't really understand some of it, but it's still enjoyable enjoyable but that's what happened to me with this movie. I won't say much more about the plot or the themes of this movie because I feel like this is one of those films that whatever you get out of it is what you're supposed to get out of it. Whatever message or lesson you take from this movie, that's the correct answer. I will say a little bit about what I took out of it specifically though. This movie talks so much about the fear of dying and I feel like what this movie deals with is that when someone is facing something like that, it's a lot more about how they choose to confront it and deal with it that matters most and will affect their overall situation. Like if you you view death approaching as a reason to get all mopey and depressed, you're probably going to have a pretty shitty time. But if you view it as a reason to live every single day to the fullest, you're going to be much more happy. There are so many different ways and methods to look at something like that, which is why this movie shoves so many different genres into a single storyline. If you allow me to sound like a little bit of a film snob for a second, the movie shows us this family that stays the same throughout. It's the lens we look at them through that changes over the course of the film. White Noise is far from Noah Baumbach's best movie. Movie, but it might be his funniest. This cast makes great use of this script and all of the quick, funny, witty dialogue, especially Adam Driver. I feel like most people are gonna find this movie pretty jarring because they, like me, aren't that familiar with the original book that this movie is based off of. I mean, this movie transforms from a comedy to a disaster flick, to a thriller without a second's notice. And even though it does overstay its welcome a bit, and I just didn't really know what was going on for some of the movie, I was constantly entertained and surprised by it. It had a lot to say, and it got me excited to watch it again to try and piece everything together. White Noise gets a Sully score of three and a half stars. 
So that's my review of white noise. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own video to see if I can figure out what the hell this all means. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna go check this one out or if you've already seen it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys at the next video.